Hey friends, it's starting to get a little cooler outside and so autumn brings these wonderful fall foliage things that we can look at and we want to really help our kids celebrate that too. And so I've got an idea today for you that really is a fun idea for autumn. It's to make autumn leaves on a tree. So basically, here's what we did. I had the child go ahead and paint their hand and their arm, <laughs> that's right, it's quite a mess, but go ahead and paint your hand and your arm and stamp that on there so that way it's painted. So that's great fun. You'll need to do that ahead so that it can dry. So you might think of it being a fun way of just saying we're gonna do our handprints and let everybody have their name. And a good tip is ask a preschooler, where do you want your name? And let them choose where they want it. And if they're old enough, let them write it but after the hand dries, then you can come back and you can add the pieces. Now you can add tissue paper, construction paper that you've cut into leaf shapes, or even squares, that's more than fine, and let them decorate all the top. But I thought it'd be great fun today to use puzzle pieces because we haven't used these old puzzle pieces that are left over from some other stuff in a long time, so we might as well use it for something new. And so we went ahead and painted up some orange ones, some brown ones, and some red ones. And now you have to be careful because they will stick to each other as I have learned just uh, trying to take these apart a little bit. But now the kids get to add these to their picture. Now I think you can just use regular, just regular school glue to add them all on and let the kids decorate the branches however they want. If you would like to, you can actually go ahead and spray paint these pieces ahead of time. Just lay them out uh, in, uh, like on a big sheet of, of newspaper or something in your yard. Ooh, I better have red over here. Newspaper in your yard or something. I think if you spray paint on the grass, it's fine because you can mow it off. It's no big deal. But this way you could get a whole bunch spray painted very quickly. Well, you can see that this would take a little while to go ahead and start building the tree and putting all of the different leaves on. And it'll probably take a lot of pieces too. And so you can let the kids decorate it however they want in order to get their fall foliage as full as they want. They could even put some here at the bottom as well. And that would be great fun. Now let's think about this for a minute. It takes a little while to do this. And so one tip that I wanna give you is to sit down with the kids and talk. Have these great conversations, things you like to do in the fall, things that families did together in the Bible, and talk it through. What would those conversations sound like? Because you're gonna be building your relationship with the kids through an art activity like this. It's not all about what you're gonna take home. It's also about how you're gonna to get to know your teacher and build relationships in the classroom. So I hope you like this idea. We have lots of other great holiday ideas, seasonal ideas. It's in four different seasons. It's in our book called Holiday Ideas 365. And I think you're gonna like it a whole lot. This episode is sponsored by Classroom Swag. I hope that you'll come and check out classroomswag.com for great ideas for decorating your classroom and your ministry hallways. <laughs>